Well, I had a great summer. I hope you did too. I had the pleasure and privilege of going to Hawaii for a week. And when I came back, I was inspired to paint. And I hope you enjoy what I came up with. This is Hang Loose Harbor as inspired by my vacation in Hawaii. Enjoy. So have you ever been to Hawaii? If you haven't, I hope that you have a chance to go someday. Yes, it's expensive. If you've heard that rumor, that is absolutely true. It is very expensive to visit Hawaii. All the activities you're going to do, they add up. But it's worth it to visit at least once. If you're an artist, it is very inspiring. There is some great art out there in Hawaii. I stayed on Maui for seven days and stayed in a town called Lahaina. In Lahaina, there are many galleries. I think I walked through six or seven galleries. And this one gallery that I walked through had a lot of surrealist paintings, uh, surrealism. And uh, one of the painters was named Victor Brigada. And I found his art very, very intriguing because it, there's a lot of symbology, there's you know, symbolism, there's metaphors, whatever you want to call it. His art forces you to think, and really forces you to kind of take apart and then reassemble in your mind. You know, you, you see what you see as what he intended, but then your brain's going to break it up, it's going to reassemble in your mind, and you're going to see something different. And I think that's pretty cool. And I actually had the, for, you know, the privilege, I was fortunate enough, to meet him. He was at that gallery that I was walking through one night. He was doing a demonstration of one of his paintings. And he, you know, he's, he's from Russia, he didn't speak English, but his manager was a translator, and he was happy to take questions, and he was very, very pleasant. And I found that uh, I had something in common with him, which is we both walk away from projects if we don't like the way they're going, and we put them away for a while and come back to them. And I have a Disneyland painting that I've been working on for seven years and you know hopefully it gets finished but I asked him the painting he was working on that night I said how long have you been working on this painting and he said many years he wasn't even sure how long because he he saw something he didn't really like or he wasn't sure what angle to take next or so he just set it aside and then he do some more works so I could totally relate to that I thought that was pretty funny but anyways he's, he's a very successful artist and you know I encourage you to check out his site and check out his work Something I like to what he explained to me is he generally doesn't want to tell people what his paintings mean as far as what he was thinking when he painted them. He would rather people come up with their own interpretations, their own stories, and then make their own stories from it because he finds it more interesting to hear the different points of view and perspectives that people have. And I think that's really cool. It, one piece of artwork can make essentially endless stories. That's really neat. I can't think of another medium that, that can do that. You know, and I, just, I think that's an amazing uh, concept. So in, in a way it's like you've written an outline for a story that's going to be told over and over and over again but in different ways. It's, he's, he's a great artist and I, I really appreciate his mind. And The painting he was working on that night, you know, he, he wanted to know what I saw in the painting I explained to him what I thought I saw, and he kind of smiled at me, and, and and the smile to me suggested that's pretty creative what you come up with, and also that's nowhere near what I was thinking. That's that's what I was interpreting. He didn't say that, but that's what I was interpreting based on his reaction. But anyways, uh, as far as Hawaii itself, well, well, what can you say? That's what he said, right? So it's it's just it's a great place to visit. You have the, the ocean, you have all the activities. I did parasailing, I biked down a volcano, um, just and I snorkeled, of course, and floated out in the ocean with the fish. And it's, just, it's a great environment. Like I said, if you ever a chance to go, please go. It's a wonderful environment. 
it inspired me when I got home to produce a painting about Hawaii. Just kind of a general look, general feel of what Hawaii was like. I took so many pictures and videos while I was there, and um, the painting that you're seeing now is what I came up with. I took elements from different shots and threw them together and kind of composed my own custom scene. There was, what you're seeing in the painting is not a particular place in Hawaii, it's just my kind of idealized Hawaii, taking all the elements. Uh, if, I, if I had to describe, you know, one of Hawaii's best features, I, if you said, what's the first thing that comes to you, comes to your mind when you think of Hawaii, I would think of the sunsets. I've never seen sunsets like that before, especially, you know, I, I said I biked on a volcano, I went to the top of uh, Haleakala in Maui, you know, got a special tour. They pick you up at 2 o'clock in the morning, you get to watch the sunrise on top of Haleakala, then you get to ride a bike down. And that's pretty awesome. But, you know, while you're up there, you get to see the sunrise, and there's just, you've never seen a sunrise like that, let me tell you. I think that's where I was really inspired to do a painting that focused on the sky. So the focus of this painting is really the sky. I mean, that's, that was what I got out of it visually. I was in Hawaii. So it's a great experience and uh, I hope you folks, if you've never been there, I hope you get to go. And if you have been there, I hope you get to go back because it's, I want to go back. I've only been there twice, you know, and I know it's, I know it's two times more than a lot of people, so I'm, I feel very lucky, very fortunate. My wife and I had a great time. It was great. Wonderful experience. So I hope you're enjoying this painting. Um, the original is for sale and uh, as always there are copies being made uh, on canvas and on paper. So if you're interested, Please let me know. Glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching.
So as you're watching this, I think it's uh, probably the right time to tell you folks that I'm very excited that my first car, the painting I did of the Radio Flyer Wagon, has been accepted into bold expressions. It's an international show at the Sacramento Fire Arts Center, and it's going to be on display through October of 2013. So if you like that painting, if you want to see it in person, it's going to be injured in Sacramento or around the area, come check it out. I'm pretty excited about it. It's my, my first juried art show where I actually was accepted. It's only the third one I've entered, so third time was a charm. Uh, previously I tried to enter Original Eviction into the State Fair, California State Fair. And in 2012 I tried to enter Current Events into uh, the Sacramento Fire Center for a show called um, Where the Wild Things Are. And that was to, it, 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 the, the art in that show would benefit the preservation of American River. This show is strictly Be Bold, that's the theme. So I threw the wagon in there because I think the angle of the wagon coming at you, I think that's pretty bold. I think the colors are pretty bold. And I was fortunate that the juror, Barry Sakata, he agreed with me. And he accepted it, so it's pretty exciting times. So yeah, if you want to come check it out and you're in the area, please do. I'm excited. I'll be there.